Web scraping is such a tedious process, right? I mean, configuring the proxy, dealing with captures, rotating the proxies, or even getting the IP banned. I mean, it takes too much time and resources, wasting hours of time only to end up getting frustrated for no reason without any fruitful results. And now what if you could use AI for scraping the web without any technical knowledge or coding skills? I mean, think about it. You just go ahead and explain exactly what you want to scrape in plain English and what are the data you want and you press enter and within seconds, the AI does everything for you. The AI goes ahead and scrapes the content and gives you the results clean, structured and ready to use. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Basically, I'll show you how we can use AI for web scraping without getting blocked. And the best part, it can bypass captures, handle IP rotation automatically and even scrape content from a dynamic website. And now let's quickly get started. So in order to do web scraping using AI, we primarily need two things. And the first one is the Bright Data MCP server and a MCP client or a AI coding tool of choice. So in this case, I'm planning to use the Bright Data MCP server for the actual scraping part. And as for the AI tool, I'll be using Cursor. And not just Cursor, it works well with Cloud Desktop or let's say WinSurf or pretty much any other tool, like say the AI tool that has MCP support. But specifically in this video, I'll show you how we can use Cursor, but the flow and the process is pretty much the same. And now the first thing that you're gonna do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to brightdata.com. And this right here is the proxy infrastructure and we are going to use a MCP tool from Bright Data to accomplish the task and let AI do scraping for us. So first thing first, head over to the first link in the description below, sign up for a new account and you also get some credit when you click the link in the description below and sign up for a new account at Bright Data. So this right here is their official website and if you want to, you can go ahead and read through the content on the homepage. But the first thing, go ahead and sign up for a new account. After you sign up on Bright Data, you'll be automatically redirected towards the dashboard and this right here is their dashboard. And now we are specifically going to use the Bright Data MCP server. So basically MCP, I mean, a lot of you might be already aware of MCP, right? Model Context Protocol. So basically it allows LLMs to interact with third party services. So basically it is like a protocol. And now the next thing that you got to do is to click the second link in the description below and head over to this GitHub page right here for Bright Data MCP. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find this code right here. And this is the only piece of code that we will need to configure everything. So I'll head back to Bright Data. And the first thing that you got to do is to click on this option that says proxies and scraping. And now first of all, you need to create a new zone. So I'll click on this add option. And first of all, I'll click on this option that says web unlocker API and I'll click on the same. And next up, you got to go ahead and give this zone a name. So it could be anything. And then you can click on this add button. And now I have already done that. And next up, okay, maybe I can click yes. And next up, I'll click on this add button and create a browser API as well. So I can simply click on that one, give it a name and click on the add button. And now once you have created both of them, you can find the same in here. So as you can see here, we have the web unlocker one that is the web unlocker API. And we also have the scraping browser one that is browser API as well. So we have both of them added. And next thing that you've got to do is to open cursor and configure the Bright Data MCP server. And trust me, it's way easier than you think it is. So I'll go ahead and quickly open cursor. So here I have opened up cursor. So if you don't already have cursor installed on your computer, you can just head over to cursor.com and download and install the same. So here I have installed and opened up the same. And the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the settings button right here and move over to this option that says MCP. And here you will find an option that says add new global MCP server. So I can click on that one and it should open this file up. And now I can head back to GitHub and copy the code. And before that, make sure you have Node.js installed on your computer. And if you don't already have Node.js installed on your computer, you can head over to their official website that is nodejs.org and click on this download button and download and install the same. And now it is available for both Windows, Mac OS, Linux and all that. So you can go ahead and download and install it. And now once you have installed the same, you can head back to GitHub page of Bright Data MCP and I'll go ahead and copy this code snippet so I can copy the same. And now I'll head back to cursor. And remember, we clicked on this button right here and it opened up this mcp.json file and I'll go ahead and paste the same in here. And now you need to replace a couple of details in here. So the first thing that you got to get is the API token, next the web unlocker zone and next up is the browser zone. So I can head back to Bright Data and first of all, I'll click on this option that is web unlocker API. And now as soon as you click on the same, you will get your API key in here. So I can go ahead and copy the API key just like that. I'll head back. And I'll paste the same in this API token section right here. So I can paste the same just like that. And next up, I need to get the name of the web unlocker zone. So in this case, this is 
web underscore unlocker one so in your case whatever will be that name that you give you can simply copy that and replace it in here just like that and finally we need to configure the browser zone so i can head back and we already set up a browser api we already added that to our account so i can click on the same and now if you move over to the overview tab right here here you'll be able to find this string right here under puppeteer slash playwright with this wss that starts with wss so i can go ahead and copy the same and now i'll open cursor and paste the same in here and there we need to make some changes the first thing is that you got to remove this protocol part right here that is wss colon and then uh, slash slash so you got to remove that so it should start from brd and we also need to remove all the part starting from this at the rate simple so basically i'll delete that as well can delete that so you got to paste it like this basically you want to delete this much part right here and also this much part and you only need to include this section right here okay and now once you have everything you can simply go ahead and hit ctrl s to save everything or command s if you are on mac and that should be it you have successfully configured the bright data mcp server on cursor and now you can go ahead and start using it for scraping everything or let's literally anything let me show you how and now if you head over to the settings and click on mcp you will now find the bright data mcp here and maybe i can refresh it once okay let's wait for it as you can see it has turned green that means bright data mcp is active on cursor and these are all the different tools that are available within bright data mcp and you can use them directly within cursor and now in this video i'll show you a couple of use cases but the point is you can literally do anything so i'll basically show you a couple of use cases and now you can customize and you know whatever be that use case you have you can literally go ahead and ask the ai and it can literally scrape anything on the web for example first up let's just say i want to scrape something from amazon and best buy so i can go ahead and put my cursor in here and give a prompt something like this and it says i want to buy a smartphone and my maximum budget is one thousand dollars please visit amazon.com and best buy.com and find the top three smartphones from each website that are priced under one thousand dollars for each smartphone include the product name price and a direct link to the product page and also provide the latest two to three customer reviews for each smartphone so this is the prompt i'll give and maybe i'll also go ahead and say create a markdown file containing all the information as well and now i can go ahead and select a ai model of choice so in this case i'm going to keep it as cloud for sonnet and now i'll click on the send button and wait for the magic so it is going through the thinking process and as you can see it is asking the permission to run the mcp tool that is the bright data mcp now all i gotta do is to click on this run tool option right here and let's wait it is now going to scrape amazon.com it will search for the keyword smartphone under 1000 and yeah it will search and go through the page number one and find all the products and prepare the data that we asked for and now i can click on run again so there you go within seconds the ai has went ahead and scraped best buy and amazon and given us all the details regarding all the phones that are like the best phones under thousand dollars and it has given us a summary of that in here and I explicitly asked the AI to create a markdown file containing all the details about the smartphone and there you go. So cursor or the AI has created a markdown file containing all the details like the product name, key features, customer reviews and all that and look at that. So we have Samsung Galaxy S25, then we have Google Pixel 9, okay, iPhone 16, Pixel 9 Pro and all that. So that is it. So I just went ahead and typed in plain English that I want you to go through a couple of these web pages and then search for a product, find all the relevant data, customer reviews, price, main features and everything, and even the link to that particular product and create a markdown file. And there you have it, right? And next up, let's just take it to the next level. So I'll go ahead and give a URL and I'll go ahead and ask the AI to scrape the content from the URL or data and then create a website out of it. Okay. So let me, okay. I can maybe close this one from here and open a new chat and this time i'll paste this prompt right here and it says can you analyze the us smartphone market share by visiting this particular url right here and create an html page and beautifully visualize the data so this is the prompt i'll give and now i can go ahead and click on the send button right here so let's wait so i can click on this run tool option to scrape the content as markdown let's wait so basically what i want is i want the air to scrape the content and not just scrape the content but i want to create a website out of it based on the data and beautifully visualize it on the screen including some graphs and charts and all that so let's see 
what the AI does. So there you go. So the AI has scraped the data and it is now creating the HTML file that we asked for. All right. So as you can see, the AI has went ahead and created an HTML file and it is over like what? Oh my God. Almost close to 600 lines of code. And now all I got to do is to click on this accept all button and there you have the HTML file. And now I can go ahead and open it up in a new tab and look at that. So we just went ahead and give a simple link to the AI. So let me go ahead and find it. So, okay. So this right here is the link that we gave to the AI and also gave a prompt asking the AI to scrape the content, like all the important data and create a beautiful HTML page, beautifully visualizing all the data. And there you go. So this right here is the output. So it says US smartphone market share analysis. And here we have all these cards, the key market insights. We have a chart in here. Okay, a pie chart, Apple versus Samsung competition. We have all sorts of data and charts and everything in here. Okay, so it was that easy. And not just that, next up, let's just say I want to find some data related to a YouTube video. So I can go ahead and do something for that. So I can click on this plus button right here. Maybe I can remove it from context and I'll go ahead and give a prompt something like this. And it says search for the keyword best AI coding tools on YouTube and extract the data for the top 10 ranking videos. I want the details such as the title, description, views count, publish date and create a markdown file containing all the information. And now I can go ahead and click on the send button right here. So basically I want the AI to visit youtube.com, search for a particular keyword, find all the data that I asked for and create a markdown file out of it and display the same. So I can click on this run tool option and let's wait for it. All right, so there you go. I can go ahead and click on the accept button. And this right here is the markdown file that the AI has generated after searching for the keyword best AI coding tools that is YouTube and it has found all the details like the channel name, views, publish date, duration, URL, description, key topics and all that along with the title. So here we have all these details. Oh, here we even have the video from my channel. So that's a good thing. So, oh, the second one. So we actually have quite a lot of videos about AI coding and oh, yet another one. Okay, cool. So the AI went ahead and searched for the keyword, what was it? Uh, I guess best AI coding tools on YouTube and found the analytics data that we asked for. And next up, let's just say I am an SEO guy and I'm about to write an article on my blog. So I'll go ahead and give a simple prompt, something like this. I'm writing an article on the topic best AI tools. I want you to search for the said keyword on Google, find the top 10 ranking pages, extract the title, analyze them, suggest me even better titles that can help me rank higher and increase the CTR. So that is the prompt I'll give. And now I can go ahead and click on the send button. So, I mean, I'm just showing you a lot of this variety of different use cases that you can use AI for scraping. It could be anything. Could be like, let's say, scraping content from a, a property listing website, scraping Wikipedia, or pretty much scraping any website. And it also doesn't matter how much URL you have to scrape. You can just go ahead and give the sitemap URL with all the links and the AI will gladly do it for you. And now I click on this run tool option. And let's wait for AI to complete, you know, scraping the content for this query as well. So there you go. The AI has given us the top 10 ranking titles for the best AI tools. And it has did this title analysis. And then here are the suggested and better title ideas that ranks higher and increases the CTR. We have all these data in here. So this time around, it has actually given this uh, data in the chat interface itself. And now if you want to, let's say, create a HTML page or let's say a markdown file or do anything with this data, you can simply go ahead and ask the AI to do it. And it was all made possible all thanks to the Bright Data MCP service. And now we used the Bright Data MCP server along with AI to accomplish the task. So it could be anything. Let's say you want to scrape YouTube, you want to scrape any website, TechCrunch, Google, Wikipedia, you name it. You have total options for all that. So the process is pretty simple. You go ahead and copy the code for the Bright Data MCP server. You open cursor or Claude desktop or any other tools as such and configure the MCP by adding the code in here. And as you can see here, we have a wide variety of different scraping tools like LinkedIn web uh, people search scraping. Then we have Etsy, eBay scraping, Amazon, Yahoo, hotel listings, Facebook company. Then we have Reuters. Then we have what Instagram scraping. I mean, a lot of it. And now after you add all of this, you can simply go ahead and give prompts as to exactly what you want to scrape. You can go ahead and give the name of the website. Simply type it. I want to scrape data from this website, create a markdown file or create a website out of it. Or let's say beautifully visualize it in charts and do all that. And now all you got to do is to get all these details by creating this browser API and web unlocker API. Drop it in the code. That is the 
mcp config file add it to cursor and you should be pretty much sorted and now if you do want to do web scraping using ai all you gotta do is to head over to the first link in the description below sign up for a new account at bright data copy the api details put the details into a mcp client let's say cursor cloud desktop windsurf or anything and you can to start scraping the web entirely using ai and no you don't need any technical skills and you don't need to touch any code and no you don't have to do any proxy configuration or handle ip rotation or think about the headache of handling captcha or getting your ip band none of that matters here ai does everything for you so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one